welcome to this week's episode of The Signal Live. We hope you were able to get out and maybe try the new Alcatraz Burger this last week, or even one of those new fitness classes that Natalie mentioned mm -hmm. to us last week. I am Miranda Hamm alongside Natalie Hutchison. We have a lot of news to cover this week, so let's get started. CFA makes a move. Members of the California Faculty Association met Wednesday to present President Sheely with a petition to shift funding back to CSU Stanislaus faculty. Several members of the CSU Stanislaus chapter of the CFA met in the lobby of the MSR with the universal goal of bringing the issue of faculty salaries directly to President Sheely. The petition to redirect funding for campus faculty has been in circulation since September 15th. Was a soccer win overshadowed by inappropriate fans? The Stanislaus women's soccer game on October 3rd marked the end of Greek week for Greek life participants as Humboldt State's coach overheard members of the new Alpha Kappa fraternity shouting negative statements towards the Humboldt State goalie who was on the field. Although over 1,000 fans were present, Humboldt State's coach could still hear cuss words coming from the members of the fraternity. The loud statements also caught the attention of the Warrior Athletics event staff, and UPD was asked to make themselves visible to the Greek fans. The chance then came to a stop. Athletics is taking steps to prevent incidents like this from happening in the future. It's official. Five more states are now allowing same-sex couples to wed. During the week of October 6th, the U.S. Supreme Court turned down all pending appeals to case cases filed by Utah, Oklahoma, Virginia, Indiana, and Wisconsin. For the past several years, many states have been fighting for the freedom to perform same-sex marriages within their borders. All of these victories add up to 10 states in total that have given the right for same-sex marriage to take place, bringing the overall number of states to 29, plus the D District of Columbia. And we all know the hashtag, but how well do you know your candidates? ASI is hosting the Hashtag 2014 Candidates event in the Event Center on October 21st from 5 to 7 p.m. Governmental Relations Coordinator Edgar Garcia says, quote, the goal of the event is to specifically educate students on who is running to represent them at the local, state, and federal level, end quote. Local candidates Mike Brem and Gary Soises will be in attendance along with Harinder Graywall, Assemblymember Candidate, and Michael Eggman, Congressional Candidate. The candidates will discuss issues that are specifically tailored to CSU students, so go ahead and check that out. International Coffee Mixer? The Office of International Education hosted their first International Coffee Hour, allowing OID staff and California State University Stanislaus International students to intermingle last Thursday at the Student Services Building. International students were able to share their culture and mingle with each other. This is the first social meeting held to encourage international students to interact with one another and become involved in campus activities. Now, would a coach not sign a student athlete's papers? Trevor Clayton played on the Warrior men's golf team, and after two successful years on the team, he was given the opportunity to play at the next level of college sports, Division I. Clayton believed his coach and school would stand behind his decision to play at the next level with Fresno State, but his coach would not sign his release papers. Clayton is now attending and playing at Fresno City College. So to get the full story on that, make sure to check out this week's issue of The Signal. There's an app for that. We are all about ways to make useless time-consuming things shorter, but it is important to identify which resources and apps are helpful and which aren't. According to U.S. News, there is a top list of resources that you should make your new best friend. The list includes Khan Academy and Dropbox. To find the full list, pick up this week's issue of The Signal or visit csusignal.com. Now, who owns the city? San Francisco is a long-standing symbol of sporting excellence, reflected by the overwhelming support from citizens living in the city. San Francisco is affiliated with several major teams from different sports, but the most popular two are the San Francisco 49ers football team and the San Francisco Giants baseball team. But which team is worthy of the title of San Francisco's favorite team? Take a look at this week's article by Ryan McLaughlin and let us know what you decide. So what do you decide, Natalie? I'm a sucker for garlic fries, <laughs> so I'm going to decide on baseball. Baseball? <laughs> yeah, and they definitely. are in the playoffs right now. Oh, or not, wow. they're the championship, right? Are they? We're going to have to have a sports segment for yeah. that. <laughs> We're going to have to check out Warrior Rewind for that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> get ready for your weekly Warrior Mail Rundown. This is where you will give your we, where we will give you the quick version of all those emails you receive in your CSU stand inbox that you may or may not take the time to read. First up, if you're thinking about heading to graduate school, there's a workshop titled Preparing for Timed Essay Tests, Graduate Entrance Exam Writing Skills on October 28th from 5 to 7 p.m. in MSR 160. Also, the CSU S 
The CSU Stanislaus Peer Project presents Victor Denoble's Addiction Presentation on October 16th from 6 to 7.30 in MSR 130 with free parking lot in lot 11. And how about a little update on the upcoming forecast? If you take a look for the weekend, we are looking at sunny skies with the temperatures being in the low 80s. And when we head back to school on Monday, it looks like you'll need to pack a light jacket as temperatures will make their way into the 70s. And by Thursday and Friday of next week, temperatures will be back in the low 80s. Your warrior weather can be found on weather.com by the Weather Channel. Might want some warm weather for this next recipe. Yes. <laughs> so there's pumpkin and chocolate in perfect harmony. Get ready for your new favorite fall dessert. Check out this week's issue of The Signal or visit csusignal.com to get the recipe for these delicious pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. And I did make those over the weekend, and I have to say they were delicious. I will She's have to bring some in. She's keeping a promise. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll have to bring some in for everybody. And that is all the time we have for this week. Read all of these stories and more at csusignal.com or by picking up this week's issue outside of all major buildings on campus. And please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter in order to stay in the know on all things CSU Stanislaus. For Natalie, I'm Miranda and we will see you right here next week. See you next week.